What's up, NACA family? We know one of the main topics in this election has been pay. We've gone to over 200 facilities, met with thousands of members, and this is a collection of some of the ideas that have come from all of you, and definitely not the ceiling, but a starting place of where Team Daniels Haltom wants to move our pay, not in just in 2026 when we go to the negotiating table, but day one when we take office, these are the ideas that we're going to work towards as just a start. The first thing that we need is to ensure that we go back and reset our pay bands. Raising the floor, raising the ceilings, providing the proper overlap again, and not having such a spread from level four to level 12. Then we need to go back and start negotiating an increase to the June raise. That's our longevity raise, the 1.6 raise that comes that first full pay period of June. And increasing that, so you climb through that pay band now faster. And starting to bring in new ideas, like a longevity bonus. For you being at a facility for 5, 10, 15, 20, or 25 or more years, we should have payouts every five years that go directly to your pocket to help in the interim while we continue to find ways to negotiate pay. We should be paid for our experience, whether we're trapped in a facility that we don't want to be in or we found a facility that we want to continue working in, your experience matters and you should be compensated for it. Then let's talk about premium pays. We know we want to bring in a Saturday pay and negotiate that. Not just the Sunday pay, but introduce 25% on Saturdays as well. And in the world of differentials, we want to look at increasing our CIC differential. One is to raise the 10%, or another idea is to start adding it to our base so you once again, you find ways to climb through your pay band faster. And then the OJTI, not only memorialize the 20%, to start getting paid for the time that you spend in the simulators as well. As we continue to do training over the next nine to 10 years to overcome this staffing crisis, we know it's going to be imperative that our OJTIs are compensated appropriately. We also need to look at revamping the overtime system. Whether that goes into a tiered system or after 80 hours of overtime work, you're paid out for annual leave or sick leave and finding ways to ensure that you are compensated for the amount of time that you're spending at work overcoming the staffing shortages that the FAA has put us in. And last, but definitely not least, we need to ensure that our facilities are compensated appropriately for the complexities that you work each and every day, making sure that your facility is being paid at the right level. Class Delta airspace should have a complexity multiplier. We have multipliers already agreed to with the agencies that are still not implemented because Abacus hasn't come along, such as the mountainous terrain, the ground control complexities, and a multitude of other ones that are still languishing out there. Jamal and I will ensure from day one that we find a way to either bridge the gap in the interim until Abacus comes into existence or that Abacus starts to roll out now. But we're not going to give away all of our negotiating strategy to the agency via video. This is just the beginning with Team Daniels Haltom Inventive ideas like this won't be out of the box. They'll be the norm. We'll talk to you more soon.